this episode, we are sailing to New York City. We started from Annapolis in Maryland after a few good days in Chesapeake Bay. The wind and weather forecast looked promising and we were looking forward to a nice sail. Unfortunately, we did get very little wind and quite some rain. Actually, we don't mind the changing weather, but we could do without the rain showers. Chesapeake Bay is a big naval base and we saw one aircraft carrier, a lot of fighter jets, surveillance planes and numerous of helicopters and we had one submarine on the VHF. We went all the way up in Chesapeake Bay and took the Delaware and Chesapeake Channel to the Delaware River. Now we're a little bit excited because we are approaching uh, New York City, uh, approximately 25 miles to go. We'll uh, be there maybe midnight or one o'clock. This is the quite spectacular sunset. in the morning yeah or in the night i will say <laughs> we arrived to new york city just behind it's us really cool. it's so cool it's been lightning we have seen it for like five hours now <laughs> <laughs> so we're just uh, outside uh, manhattan so in the background we uh, in the far distance we see uh, uh, Empire State Building. Yes. So it took us uh, two days to come from um, Annapolis yeah. to here. We had a good sailing. It was uh, mostly good sailing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is the city that never sleeps. But uh, I think I'm going to sleep now. We anchored close to Coney Island and in the morning when we had the tide with us we set sail the last bit into New York City. This uh, lady, <laughs> Lena. Yeah, I'm Lena, and this is the State of Liberty, Statue of Liberty. Yeah, exactly. It's an enormous, strong feeling uh, right now entering the port of New York City. Uh, this is probably the biggest uh, we have experienced so far. Um, 
Yes. You've seen it so many films and movies and, uh, and now we're here and uh, sailed like they did in the 1800s. Yeah. Sailing in my grand-grandfather's footsteps. He came here 133 years ago and took his first step on land in America, here on Ellis Island. So I'm feeling a little bit uh, bubbling in my stomach or butterflies flying because uh, I can feel how he felt when after so many days at sea from Gothenburg and arrive here to a new country with a new culture. I think he was brave. Magnus Nilsson, he returned to Sweden in the early 1900s, so he was here for 15 years. Uh, he went up to Ohio. Uh, and uh, he is from Händelöp in Västervik in Sweden, in Småland, and it's uh, in an archipelago outside Västervik. Uh, he was a fisherman, but when he returned, he started to build really nice oak boats, motorboats for fishing. And they are still in uh, use, mo mo many of them. And uh, my grandmother's cousin, uh, brother Rolf, he still have one of his boats up and running. That's pretty cool, I think. And how many kids did he get? I don't know in the end, but my, grand but my grandmother had 11 siblings. I had sisters, sisters and brothers. Yeah. So at least, then we don't know how many relatives. No, maybe it's the whole US. Just go up to Iowa. <laughs> and I say, hello, cousin, how are you? <laughs> that I'm actually in New York uh, and I'm not allowed. Yes, I am allowed to go ashore, but uh, I won't because it's like one of the most places in the world that is most, uh, has most uh, of COVID cases this is in America. So we decided just to do it by the sea, but it's a good way to do it. And I'm just so dizzy because all the buildings and all the history. First, we went to Ellis Island where my great grandfather uh, Anders Magnus went to shore for 130 years ago. And when you see those buildings over here, it's like in one of them, there is, it's probably so many people in one of the buildings that it is in the whole village of Duved where we live, <laughs> home in Sweden. Uh, I think this is really exciting. After the boat tour around New York, we took East River past Manhattan and after a couple of hours, we ended up in Long Island Sound. If you like this New York episode, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next Sunday.